Hello guys, welcome back to Good Travel Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix last epoch is crashing at startup, won't launch, not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen, stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issues and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first one is all about we have to start with a restart and that is what we have to do. So restart is just a very quite simple we need to try out because restart did work out for many users. So what we need to do is we just have to go over here in the start. We have to click over here go for a restart. After restart is successfully done just try to play the game and that is what you have to do. Next one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file and that is what we need to do. So verify integrity of game file is actually a simple step and when we do this what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step and this is an important step which we need to try out for sure without wasting any time. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here just click over here right click and go to properties now go for local file click on verify integrity of game file when you click on this as you can see this is going to take a little bit of time so what happens is this will be checking all the cross files and if any files are missing and if any files are having any trouble all these kind of issues will be fixed by verify integrity of game file and that is what we need to do next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder so let this get completed so we'll move to the next step that is next one instead of launching the game from steam that means from the steam app we have to launch the game from the uh, installation folder so we can navigate to the installation folder in two way either we can navigate to the installation folder from the steam itself another one is from going to the file explorer over here so we should be knowing both so the first one i'll show you how to navigate to installation folder using uh, this one so right click and go to properties now go to local file click on browse when you redirect it to this folder as you can see this pc local disc c program file x86 steam steam apps common last epoch and this is what it is now from here we have to launch the game and that is going to work for you as well this is what we need to do next one is all about we have to run the game as administrator also for that hence we are in the installation folder so i'll show you the game from here itself so just right click on the application right click and go to show more option go to properties go to compatibility now from here we need to go to run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and launch the game and that is going to work for you as well next one there is one more thing which i would like to make you notice parallelly this particular step is did mention for some users in the reddit so i'm going to share it over here we can try this out that is we are running the run uh, we are running the game in the compatibility mode for that we have to click over here right click and go to show more options and go to properties now go to compatibility over here as you can see there is a compatibility mode we have to select this one run this program in compatibility mode first try with windows 7 and launch the game if that is not working try running the game in windows 8 and launch the game as well so try both these things after trying this if the issue is not uh, not at all solving and if the issue is getting severe like you are only having a launching option uh, launching error but you later had freezing and stuttering and many more things if that is the case then you need to uncheck this for that just go to the compatibility over here just uncheck this go for apply and go for ok and try to launch the game as well that is going to work for you as well this is what you have to do next one is all about we have to change windows language to english that is what we need to do for that we have to close this close everything go over here so let me close this now go to the search over here go to settings search for settings like this now from here open settings now from here go to time and language now from here go for language and region over here as you can see i am using english language as the uh, default but uh, what we need to do is sometimes if it is in any native language you are from german or you are from uh, any other country's native language if you are using like arabic or something you have to change the language to english which is uh, very important so if you don't know how to change it go to settings then go to time and language if you are in any native language if you wanted to change it to english go over here you will be landing this click on add language and from here you have to search for english keep searching for english now from here you can select english united states 
which is uh, which is I'm using right now. Select this one and add it. Once it is added, your computer will be in this one and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we have to launch the game. While launch the game, press Alt and T, Alt and Tab on the keyboard. I don't know how, but this did work it for many of the users. So just uh, click over here in the game. At the same moment, when you're clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab on the keyboard. Just press Alt and Tab on the keyboard. When you press Alt and Tab on the keyboard, that is going to work for you. So those who are having not launching issue did fixed. For some users, when they tried this, it did work. So crashing and launching did work. So that is why I'm recommending this step. You can try this out. I think for you also, this will be working out. You can try with this. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is, we need to delete the saved game file. For that, we need to go over here in this file explorer. Now go to documents over here. As you can see, when you play the game and you save it, that you will be having a folder on lost epoch. And if you find the folder, just delete it. Keep in mind, you will be losing everything, but that is fine. Just delete the lost epoch folder. And once it is done, you just have to start from the scratch, but that is fine. Just launch the game and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we have to allow the game exe to Windows security. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search. We need to go for control panel. Just search for control panel. Open this. Now from here, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to scroll down and navigate to lost eboots. So just keep scrolling down and navigate to L. Where is L? We'll be able to find L over here. So, sorry, somewhere I forgot the L. Okay, we need to find L. Where is it? Okay, as you can see, the last epoch is over here. It's already added. So, if it's already added, make sure that the both the private and public should be checked. That means these both the things should be checked. That you should be ticked mark for both the thing. And once it is done, what you need to do is you just need to move to the next one. If it is not added, what we need to do? That is the next question. So if it is not added, we need to click on allow another app. Go for browse. Now from here, go to this PC. Go over here in local C. Now from here, we just need to scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, we need to go for lost epoch and you have to select the application. Now you just need to open this. If I click on add, I'll be getting error because it's already added. So if it is not added, this is how you need to add it. And once you have successfully added it, you just need to close this and go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is we need to do is we need to unplug all the USB devices and that is what we need to do. So for unplugging the, all the USB devices, what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to remove everything from the USB port, uh, USB port including the controllers. Imagine uh, that you just uh, connected uh, this one. For example, if you already connected uh, the controllers to play the game, you have to remove it as well. And if any Logitech wheels are connected and unwanted joysticks are connected, just remove everything from the USB ports. After once you connected and if you wanted to play the game with controllers, launch the game. Once you launch the game, you connect it back and try to play the game. And that is what you need to do. And this did work for many users. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search and we need to go over here. Now from here, we have to go for system configuration. Uh, now go for system configuration. Go to services. Over here, you have to click on disable all. And uh, while doing this, make sure you hide all Microsoft services. Go for disable all. Once you're done with this, just go for apply and go for OK. When you go for apply and go for OK, they will be asking you for a restart. If the restart is being asked, just go for a restart and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we have to update the graphics card. For updating the graphics card, I'll be providing link in the description for both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users. So if you're on the AMD users, then you have to go to this link. When you open this link, they'll be asking you some question like this. That means you have to give the product type, select the Geoforce and the product series. If it is on 40 series, select the respective one. Now from here, once you select this one, select everything over here. Now I'm using Windows 11, so I have to give the Windows 11 and go for start search. So when you go for start search, what happens is they'll be searching for the manual one. Now over here, as you can see, 
this is the latest version that is uh, 531.18 which is released on February 28, 2023. This is the latest version. So first download this one. Download it, install this one and you can try this out. And there is one more thing. So if you're on the AMD, you, could, you can click on the respective link in the description and that will take you to this. Now from here, select the respective model. Now, if you're on Windows 11, you can select the first one and download and install this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one as well. And you have to launch the game as well. That is what you have to do. Once you install the graphics card manually, you have to restart your PC. And once after that, try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about what we need to do is we need to move to the next step. That is all about for some users, what happens is after they are updating the graphics card manually to the latest version, what happens is the issue became more severe. So they are not at all being able to play anything. So if that is the case, we need to fix it as well. So if that is the case, after installing the graphics card manually, if you are having a lot of trouble, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the start search. We have to right click over here. We need to go to device manager. Just go to display adapters. Now from here, you have to select the NVIDIA RTX, go to properties. Go to driver, go for rollback driver. So once you roll back the driver, you just have to go back to the same link which I have given already. When you search for the link, you will be able to see there are many uh, graphics versions available if you scroll down, right? So we just downloaded the latest version that is released on February 28th and the version is 531.18. So now what we, did, uh, what we need to do is, for some users, when they install a little bit older version that is released on 8th of the February, and also some users try with January 23rd version, which is released on this. So never if after rolling back the driver, you should not be never downloading the latest version. Instead, try a little bit lower one. That is, let me go with 528.49 version, which is released on February 08, 2023. You can download this. When some users downloaded this one and installed this, did this work out for them? You can try, the, uh, try this out as well. If that is the not case, we can go for uh, 528.49, that is fine. Or uh, for the NVIDIA users, try to download this one. So don't go too far, like uh, on uh, January 24. If this is not working, go for January 24, 2023. So try with older versions because sometimes, you know, the latest versions will be having the issue or they may be causing the issue. So we need to pack it up. So just uh, uninstall this. I mean, roll back the driver after this, download this one and install this and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we have to perform a uh, we have to give uh, disable the steam overlay for that. We have to go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here under general, make sure this is uh, not checked, which means it is disabled. And once it is done, it is fine with us. We have to give command. Uh, we have to give few commands in the launch options as well. The first one is DX11. Give this command DX11 try to launch the game and that is uh, did work out for many users next one is dx12 try to launch the game as well that is going to work for you as well this is what you have to do and when you try it with these you have to see that is going to work for you as well this is an important step so after giving the both the command that is dx11 dx12 if this is not working just remove everything from here and keep it like nil that means no should nothing should be there like a default and that is the case. Next thing is all about we have to uh, close overlay applications and overclocking application. This is an important step and this did work for many users. So when you're trying to these uh, play games, sometimes overlay applications and overclocking applications did uh, do a lot of things. For that, we have to go over here in the search, right click and we have to go to task manager. Now, as you can see, apart from these, there are 71 apps running in the background. Some of them like Discord, they are overlay applications which drain out a lot of my RAM. For what I need to do is I just need to select this one. I have to go over here and go to end task on the Discord. Then I just have to keep scrolling down and navigate to another thing as well. So for the overclocking applications, what I need to do is overclocking applications are like MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, etc. And all these things should be end, end it up as well. So go for Riva Tuner, MSI Afterburner etc they drain out a lot of performance if anything is running in the background you have to uh, end the task as well and once you're done with this we just have to close it and we have to go over here and we have to try to play the game as well next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that reason we have to go over here in the search go for graphics settings now from here we need to open this now as you can see here i have already added all the games apex legends i have already added everything 
the same way we need to add it for that we need to click on browse now from here we have to go to this pc go to local disk c now keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam apps now from here we need to go to common as well now from here go to lost epoch okay now from here add it so it's already added so as you can see it is added now what we need to do is we just need to click on the option now from here let windows decide is there you have to change this to high performance now change this to high performance because when you launch the game you are use, utilizing the graphics card maximum that is going to fix the issue go for high performance and save it as well now just close this and go back and try to play the game as well next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for that we need to go over here in the search we need to go for view advanced system setting now click on this one first go to the advanced go for settings uh, from here go to advanced once again go for change here make sure under the virtual memory should not be selecting virtual auto memory this should be if it is selected you will not be able to select the local disk so you should be uncheck this and select the local disk where the game is installed so here in my case the local disk is where the game is installed so i will select this one go for custom size here we have to give the value that is initial size and maximum size so i have to do, know uh, i have to know what is my ram for that i have to go over here go to settings now go to system if you don't know how to grow the ram just go to about now from here as you can see 32 gb is my installed ram so i came to know my ram now i have to close this now we need a calculator so i have to go for calculate because we need to do few calculation that we need to give the initial size so initial size is 1.5 times the total ram for that first i need to multiply 32 gb that is my ram so you have to multiply your ram into a value that is 1024 so just multiply your ram into 1024 okay so this is what we get that is 32768 now i have to multiply this with 1.5 okay because minimum size is 1.5 times the total ram and i have to copy this value and i have to paste it now i have to go for next one that is 32 GB is my RAM. I have to multiply it with 1024. Now I have to multiply it with 3. That is 98,304. I have to paste it as well. Once I paste this value, I have to go for OK. And then I, what I need to do is I just have to go back and try to play the game as well. Next one is we need to update the windows. For that, we have to go over here in the search. Go to settings. Now go to windows update at the bottom left so make sure if the windows is having any update just update the windows not like this you have to update the windows to the latest version and then try to play the game last and the least one is all about we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstalling it back for that we have to go over here go to manage uninstall the game once you uninstall the game we have to reinstalling it back while doing this make sure that should not be reinstalling it back on the same local disk try with another local disk so if you're uninstalling the game from c try to install it back on d here i'm having only one disk so that is an issue so you have to try with any other disk and this is what you have to do when it comes to this and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye